Ladies and gentlemen, I need to get something off my chest. What I'm seeing in robotics education today is a travesty, is a mockery, is a disgrace. And you know what's even worse? People are acting like this is normal. I'm talking about these pre-built environments, these plug and play, auto setup, everything done for you, Docker containers and online simulation tools marketed as the best way to learn robotics. Excuse me, no, they are not. Is your robotics course handing you a pre-configured system where everything is done for you? All you have to do is just write code, run, run for us, run for us, run. Drop the course immediately because this is not robotics. Robotics isn't about writing a few lines of code and watching the magic happen. This isn't some insert batteries, press start, boom, you're a roboticist situation. No, real robotics is about struggle. It's about getting elbow deep in error messages. It's about dependencies that refuse to install no matter what you do. It's about debugging at 2 a.m., staring at your screen like, why is this happening to me? That is real learning. That's where the real learning happens. But instead, what do we have today? A generation of students being handed pre-built environments like they're getting fast food at a drive-thru. Excuse me. You think the engineers at NASA who built the Mars rover just clicked the setup wizard and went on a coffee break? You think Waymo's self-driving AI was built by pressing auto configure and calling it a day? Please, what's the message here? That students don't need to set up their own tools? That they should just accept the easy way out? That they should just live inside a pre-built sandbox instead of building from scratch? No. Absolutely not. Because let me tell you something. When you step into the real world, no one is coming to hold your hand. If you only ever relied on pre-built environments, then the moment something breaks, you're done. Picture this. You're at work. A critical bug appears. Everything is on fire. The deadline, two hours. Your boss, breathing down your neck. The client, calling nonstop. You open your laptop and bam, error messages flood your screen like a biblical plague. And you, you're just sitting there blinking, thinking, wait, I never had to set up this before myself. What do I do? You know what happens next? Disaster. And let me tell you something. No one's coming to save you at that moment. This is like trying to be the chef, but refusing to learn how to chop vegetables. Uh, excuse me, can I get the vegetables pre-chopped? I don't like knives. What? What? It's like wanting to be a musician, but saying, I don't want to tune my instrument. It's like a pilot saying, I just press autopilot. I don't actually know how to fly. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not here for excuses. I'm not here for but it's easier this way, arguments. Because robotics is not a field for button pushers. It's a field for problem solvers. You don't learn to solve problems by having them solved for you. You learn by doing, by failing, by fixing, by understanding. And until people recognize that, we're going to be stuck with a generation of so-called roboticists who wouldn't recognize their own development environment if it slapped them across the face. And that, my friends, is nothing short of a disgrace. Automatic Addison.